Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and what's the job video? Today I created this drone bike trail in a real engine file. So let's start this tutorial. So I have this bike. So let's make a trail. So first, if I make a Niagara and take a fountain, let's call it NS from trail or whatever you say, uh, like call it, it's not trail, it's tracer or anything. So I'll just take fountain and then instead of particles i need ribbon so i'll take that and i don't need all these stuff for now uh, i need velocity but i don't need this and let's say life is constant maybe two and velocity is linear maybe x maybe 200 and size of the ribbon is maybe 200 for now or maybe safety. And I'll make this local. And this trail is a camera aligned. So first we need to align it on an axis. So here I'll use this custom slide vector. And then here in the initialize, we can go here in the facing mode. Use direct. And now it will face this axis. And this is also local. So I'll just drag it into the viewport. And we can rotate it like this. I'll use this and rotate it back like 90 degrees. And we want to make a bit here. And see, it's also visible here. Let's make the this maybe hunger. It's also visible here. We want to cut it in an arc. So let's say if you have a material and let's call it M rail. And I'll take a radial and I'll take this tab 0.5 and put it here just to showcase you something. And I'll use this end it. So we have a radial basically. Let it compile it. This. And let's make this a little bigger, maybe 0.6. And let's move this 0.5. And on x zero, so it will be on the side of the uh, of the sprite uh, this way. I think we yeah. So let's save it now. If I browse this and I call this here, you will notice this this is fair. This radial is stretching. So to avoid that, you have to go to here in the UVs. And use this tiled segment, and that's working fine. So now we can put it exactly where we want, but we want this to be a little bigger. So I'll make this to be 150. And I think that radius should be also bigger, maybe 0.8. We should touch. The, the corners, these are 0.7, I guess, and I'll save it. I'll save it. So at 0.77, it's touching that corner. Okay, so now here we can use it. I think bike should move a little up. Then this track. Like I think the width is too high. Yeah, exactly. Now we want that white part to be black, and we can invert that. Okay, and we can put it here. Now for the particle, if I take the particle color directly. We can make it uh, like this flat color, but we want uh, something on the edge. So what I'll do, I'll take, I'll use the texture coordinate set three, and I'll take this. And to if you want it both side, you can multiply it, multiply by two and subtract one. Okay. And then use absolute.
okay and now uh you can use power to make this black part a little wider but instead of power what i'll do i'll invert this and then i'll use the divide that will give you a cool uh gradient like this and you can just add it on the opacity actually not add multiply And I think that's it. Cool. Let's save it for now. And now here, this looks cool and it's also cutting from here. So it's not going inside it. And again, of course, make it like this. And we can make it a little longer, maybe 10, and I'll make this warm up. So it is already there. We are not shooting it. And it should be in the center. So I'll just move it exactly here. Looks cool, right? And we can also like drag this on the let me turn this off and my bike name is base so i will drag my effects on the base now it is my it is the link with it and if you make it like if you don't make it local and now to move it the trail will be like this but you have to make this very fast then it's very slow uh the velocity so you can do that so let's say maybe like 2000 and i'll make this just to showcase you otherwise there are other ways to fix that and now cool This is how you can make this. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep coming. Bye bye.